What's going on, everybody? I am finding with the retirement of Finale, there's definitely more and more Dorico users and MuseScore users. So this channel will basically be Dorico oriented as well as MuseScore. So today we're just going to take a quick look on how to change rehearsal marks if you want it as bar numbers or letters or my favorite numbers. There is a way to do it if you're in write mode in Dorico, but I wouldn't suggest it, especially if your piece is really long, because you have to manually do each rehearsal mark. But what I did, just to show you in write mode, if you just need to change one, or sometimes we use rehearsal marks. By the way, rehearsal marks, you do shift A, highlight that measure, that note, and shift A. So we have the letter there. But if you want to switch that to a number, you're going to go ahead and do the properties panel down here and you're going to see rehearsal marks and then you can just put numbers. But as you can see, that's number one and that's still a letter. So if you need to do it globally, there is a much easier way. I just have had students where they'll spend the five minutes, 10 minutes clicking each one, changing it. No, this is a pretty in uh, intense software. So take advantage of it. All you have to do. So we have C, D, and E, what I want to do is make those numbers. So I'm going to go to engrave mode. And then after that, I'm going to go to above where it says library. And we are going to look for engraving options. And you can see the shortcut there. After engraving options, you're going to scroll down where it says rehearsal marks. I've already bookmarked that. So I'm going to go up actually. I was working on something earlier. So you're gonna see this part. So now the sequence can either be letters, numbers, or bar numbers. And I'm gonna to switch to just numbers. And then you can go ahead and navigate how you want the um, rehearsal marks to fit above the music or to the sides, that's convenient. And it will change it for everything. What I'm gonna do is leave everything there, but I am gonna make um, this as a rounded triangle and that should switch everything. Click apply and you are done. And there we go, it looks beautiful. Now that's probably A because I had it to a number through write mode. So be careful if you manually do things, it's just gonna flop it. That is an extra part of the lesson. So if you were here to the end, you got a little extra tidbit. So make sure if you do anything manually and you wanna change it globally, just go back to where you didn't touch it. Hopefully that makes sense. But uh, keep making music, bye-bye. Hit that like button, all that stuff. I'm doing this for free now.